In a dramatic scene within a dense forest, a mother bear found herself in a dire predicament, her young cub was trapped on a narrow ledge, and she was unable to retrieve it. As hope began to wane, an unexpected band of heroes emerged at dawn, deep in the mountains, a group of seasoned climbers, known as the all season pros, were making their way through a thick, unexplored forest, guided by their experienced leader, Elliot. Their goal was to scale some imposing peaks, yet. Fate had different plans for them, as they pressed on, a loud roar tore through the crisp mountain air, reverberating so powerfully that it seemed as if the forest itself was pleading for assistance, the climbers stopped dead in their tracks, their hearts beating in unison with the desperate, wild call, instinctively, they felt compelled to act, immediately, Elliot gestured for the team to head towards the origin of the noise, they increased their pace, adeptly navigating the dense undergrowth, their extensive climbing expertise proving essential, the roar originated from a place ominously dubbed Widow's Peak, notorious for its treacherous cliffs and the chilling local legends of past calamities. As they neared the cliff, the climbers encountered a distressing sight. A troubled bear was pacing on a narrow ledge. She was the source of the fearsome roar. Below her, her cub, small and seemingly hurt, was struggling to ascend and reunite with her. The mother bear frantically stretched her arms off the ledge trying to reach her offspring, but the cub remained just beyond her grasp. With each failed attempt, the cub leaped, fell back, and whimpered loudly, its cries resonating against the stone walls and heightening the emotional intensity of the scene. Elliot was perplexed. It was unusual for bears to use this slope to reach the ledge. He was well aware that the climb was challenging and fraught with dangers. He wondered why the mother had chosen to expose both herself and her cub to such severe risk. However, this was not the time for pondering. If the cub were to lose its grip, it would fall backward and plummet to the bottom of Widow's Peak, a likely fatal descent. In her desperation and despair, the mother bear pounded the rock, hurling her massive body onto the ledge in a desperate bid to reach her cub. She inadvertently disturbed the fresh snow around her, and if she continued, she might inadvertently cause an avalanche or further destabilize the ledge. The climbers realized they needed to act swiftly to avert a tragedy. As she acknowledged, the situation was on the brink of becoming even more hazardous. Grasping the critical nature of the scenario, Elliot quickly formulated a strategy. The task involved ascending to the ledge, cautiously retrieving the young bear, and then handing it over to its anxious mother, though the mission was intimidating. It was absolutely essential, with determined resolve, the climbers geared up for the sensitive rescue effort, steadfast in their mission to save the cub at Widow's Peak, despite the imminent dangers, in a tense development in the mountains, a bear cub was on the verge of being overwhelmed by an avalanche, the circumstances were critical, and the risks to any would-be rescuers were considerable. Aware of the severity of the situation, a band of hikers quickly assessed the obstacles before them. The route to the distressed cub was fraught with dangers, strewn with sharp, jagged rocks, a path clearly treacherous unless a well-thought-out strategy was in place. The preparations would involve embedding stakes into the rocky ground and strategically placing heavy stones atop the ledge to anchor their ropes, a setup that would require no less than a couple of hours. As the hikers devised their plan, they were very aware of the mother bear nearby. They understood the immense danger of coming between a mother bear and her cub, a famously perilous situation. Despite the pressing need for action, Elliot, one of the hikers, realized that any rash moves could spell catastrophe. With shaking hands, he quickly took out his phone and dialed the mountain rescue team. It was vital to keep the call short, as every moment was crucial for the cub's survival. The rescue team responded with impressive speed, launching their operation immediately. Before long, the distant sound of a helicopter began to fill the valley, growing louder as it neared. The noise unsettled the mother bear, who paced in confusion and fear. The climbers maintained a vigilant silence as the helicopter positioned itself, its blades whipping up a whirlwind of leaves and debris near the cliff. This rescue was far from routine. A rescuer was meticulously lowered from the helicopter, taking extreme care not to further alarm the mother bear. He successfully enveloped the cub in a net, making sure it was secure and comfortable. With a reassuring gesture of a thumbs up, both the rescuer and the cub were gradually hoisted towards the helicopter, a tense moment with everything quite literally on the line. Upon seeing her cub being carried away, the mother bear emitted a powerful roar, her distress clearly evident, in her turmoil. She accidentally caused more snow to fall from the ledge, which triggered a minor avalanche, luckily. Elliot and his team were at a safe distance, 
As the rescue team assessed the cub, they noted several lacerations caused by sharp rocks during its attempts to reach its mother, one particularly severe wound was still bleeding, the rescuers swiftly applied an antiseptic ointment to prevent infection, a crucial step for the cub's survival in the wild. Once the cub was stabilized, the same rescuer was carefully lowered back to the ledge with the cub securely in his arms. Prepared to reunite it with its mother in what was a cautious yet hopeful conclusion to a tense rescue operation, in a poignant and almost surreal scene, the mother bear stood on her hind legs, her arms raised high, eager to retrieve her cub. The young bear was gently passed from the man to its mother, culminating in a heartfelt embrace at the cliff's edge. This reunion was deeply touching. The mother bear, now reassured of her cub's safety, tenderly nuzzled it. Her initial roars of distress turned into gentle murmurs that moved the hearts of the watching climbers, whose cheers of joy resonated in the air. They had embarked on a journey to conquer a mountain but ended up witnessing and participating in a far more significant event. A life was saved, a testament to compassion in the unforgiving wilderness. As the helicopter disappeared into the horizon, a climber named Maya noticed something troubling on a nearby tree. She saw markings that were all too familiar to her trained eyes, signs of poachers. It became clear to the group that the bear had been fleeing from poachers. The steep ascent was a desperate attempt to find safety, a path rarely taken by others, in hopes that it would be too daunting for humans to follow. Yet, in her haste, she had underestimated the risks of climbing such a precarious slope with her cub. Now, the act of rescuing the cub had unintentionally exposed their location to the poachers. The climbers were furious. What had started as a mere adventure had escalated into a critical conservation mission. They decided to go deeper into the forest, driven not only by the thrill of climbing but by a renewed dedication to protect the wildlife they had just rescued. Under Elliot's guidance, they delved deeper, vigilant for traces of human presence, the woods wrapped around them. Exuding the aroma of moist vegetation and the faint sounds of concealed creatures, it was Maya, with her sharp vision, who first spotted an odd path diverging from their intended course, evidence of recent disturbances, such as snapped branches and moved rocks, indicated recent human activity, Elliot chose to follow this enigmatic new path, fully conscious of the potential risks involved, this route could expose them to natural hazards or those posed by other humans, as they proceeded. The forest appeared to tighten around them, with the thick foliage obscuring the sunlight and casting deep shadows that deceived their eyes. Aware of the dangers, the climbers' dedication to protecting the wildlife they cherished drove them forward. They progressed with caution, every step plunging them deeper into a narrative that required not only their bravery but also their unwavering commitment to conservation. Their trek through the dense woods was suddenly halted by a rustling in the underbrush, causing them to stop abruptly, their hearts pounded braced for danger, but it turned out to be just a small fox with a bright red coat that quickly scurried across their path and vanished into the greenery, continuing their journey. They arrived at a more open area and immediately encountered signs of recent human presence. A campfire still radiated a slight warmth, indicating that its recent users had just left. Around the site, various items were strewn carelessly, and a map with certain areas highlighted caught Elliot's attention. It was clear from these clues that they were not dealing with ordinary hunters but organized poachers planning to return. Driven by a strong impulse to safeguard the forest and its dwellers, Maya suggested they establish a concealed observation post nearby, blending seamlessly with the natural environment for camouflage. They settled in for a prolonged surveillance, the hours of waiting tested their patience, punctuated only by sporadic bird calls and the gentle rustle of leaves fluttering in the breeze. As daylight began to fade and anxiety increased, they finally detected movement on the perimeter of their hidden boundary, confirming their suspicions. Figures stealthily returned to the site, from their concealed vantage point. Elliot and Maya watched the poachers setting their traps. Oblivious to the watchful eyes observing them, the scene was disconcerting, each movement was a reminder of the threat they posed. Her heart beat faster as she realized the gravity of the situation. These were not ordinary hikers. Their presence was a stark reminder of the threat they posed to the local wildlife, recognizing that the situation was beyond their capabilities. Elliot managed to get just enough cellular reception to reach out to the wildlife authorities. After informing them of the crisis and providing their location, the group waited anxiously for help, with each minute feeling increasingly like an eternity. Eventually, the sound of vehicles cutting through the tense silence heralded the arrival of the wildlife rangers. They came equipped and ready to take charge. 
quickly capturing the poachers who were taken by surprise and unable to escape into the darkness. The palpable relief was felt by everyone as the rangers began to dismantle the traps and secure the area. The successful intervention marked a significant win, still, the ordeal had taken a considerable toll on all involved, as they debriefed with the rangers, the reality of their achievement began to truly sink in, the climbers were visibly drained, both emotionally and physically, but knew their work wasn't done yet, Elliot and his team, now deeply conscious of the dangers in these woods, decided not to leave immediately, they resolved to stay a few more days to help the rangers implement more effective, long-term measures to protect the local wildlife. That evening, as they set up their camp under a canopy of twinkling stars, a peculiar serenity fell over the group. Despite their exhaustion, there was a palpable sense of accomplishment after their encounter with the poachers. Cole and Gabriel, completely spent, were the first to retire to their tent. The others soon followed. All except for Maya. As an avid photographer, she stayed up, adjusting her camera settings under the light of her headlamp, eager to capture the rumored stunning sunrise of this forest region, so absorbed was she in her preparations that she initially overlooked the odd flickering light and the unusual humming noise that was out of place among the familiar nocturnal sounds of the woods, feeling uneasy. Maya trusted her instincts and tiptoed away from the camp to investigate. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, Maya stumbled upon a scene that seemed lifted from a thriller movie. A group of men dressed in mismatched military gear moved stealthily through the forest. They were silent, communicating only through hand signals, their movements coordinated and secretive. Maya's heart raced as she realized the serious implications of their presence. Maya soon realized that these men were not wildlife rangers or any recognized authority. They were heading directly towards their camp, fueled by adrenaline. Maya ran back to alert Cole but he was deeply asleep, unresponsive to her urgent proddings. With no time to waste and the need to remain quiet to avoid alerting the intruders, she quickly moved to Elliot's tent. A gentle touch was enough to rouse him. A single glance at Maya's panicked face was all it took for Elliot to understand the seriousness of their situation. They quietly moved deeper into the forest shadows just as the harsh beams of flashlights swept over their now empty camp. From their hidden lookout, Elliot and Maya observed as the enigmatic group entered their campsite. The leader of the group, a domineering figure known only as Blackball, was the first to approach the sleeping climbers. With a stick in hand, he abruptly woke Cole and Gabriel, who sat up, startled and scared. Blackball harshly interrogated them. Demanding precise details about their activities and intentions in the woods, as the rest of the group commented on the deserted look of the camp, Blackball suddenly blamed them for his brother's arrest and the disruption of their operations. In a swift move, he signaled his men to capture Cole and Gabriel. As they were restrained, the group began a violent spree, setting fire to tents and equipment in a ruthless act of revenge, hidden in the shadows. Elliot and Maya watched in shock as a simple run-in with poachers turned into a grave hostage crisis. They knew they couldn't just watch, they had to act. As Black Ball's gang led Cole and Gabriel away from the scorched remains of their camp, Elliot and Maya stealthily followed at a safe distance through the underbrush. After hours of tracking, they came upon a surprisingly large, well-established settlement deep in the forest, far beyond what they had anticipated, as the kidnappers led Cole and Gabriel into the compound. Maya managed to discreetly take photos and capture the scene. Despite the darkness, unseen by the poachers, they continued their surveillance, heartbroken to see their friends treated like caged animals, back in the shadows, stripped of all their equipment, Elliot and Maya huddled together to plan their next steps, then, a deep roar pierced the night, they turned to see a familiar sight, the mother bear they had previously encountered, previously rescued, the mother bear stood by her cub at her side, in the dim light, her piercing gaze met theirs. And Elliot and Maya momentarily thought it could be their end. The bear looked enraged and they prepared for the worst, to their relief. However, she simply turned away and vanished into the forest with her cub. Mixed emotions overwhelmed them. They were grateful to be alive, yet they held a slight hope that the bear might support their cause. Just as things seemed dire, the mother bear reappeared, this time accompanied by two other adult bears, rather than leading them to their hiding place. She directed them towards the camp center, their hopes were not in vain, the bears were preparing to attack the poachers, not them, immediately, the bears invaded the camp, wreaking havoc, they knocked over supplies and caught the poachers off guard, seizing the moment, 
Maya and Elliot quickly took action to use the chaos to their advantage and rescue their friends. Amidst the turmoil, Cole and Gabriel rushed to the cage holding their friends captive and, finding a piece of broken metal, skillfully picked the lock. The moment their friends were released, the joy and relief were overwhelming. They all swiftly joined in the escape effort. As they fled, one of the adult bears was unfortunately captured by the poachers. However, the mother bear and another adult escaped and returned to the safety of the forest. The reunited group of climbers, driven by an adrenaline surge, ran as fast as they could. After what felt like forever, they reached the ranger's outpost. Breathless and exhausted, upon hearing the climber's gripping story, the rangers sprang into action. They quickly gathered their equipment and launched a rescue mission. The assault on the poacher's camp led to a fierce battle. Although many of the poachers resisted stubbornly, they were ultimately subdued. The poacher's leader, known as Blackball, was seriously injured during the skirmish and was subsequently captured. The rangers successfully rescued the captured bear and released it back into the wild marking a bittersweet end to a tense encounter. As the adrenaline began to wane, Maya, Elliot, Cole, and Gabriel felt the relief washing over them. Grateful for the ordeal's resolution, the immense burden of their experiences was crushing, compelling the explorers to indefinitely pause their journey. The forest, though captivating and untamed, revealed a side that was too dangerous and intimidating. With somber spirits, the mountaineers exited the forest, Profoundly affected by what they had seen and endured, their initial venture into the woods was driven by a thirst for adventure and a desire to aid in preservation efforts. However, they departed with a newfound awareness of the genuine dangers these natural areas are facing. This expedition had profoundly altered them, indelibly influencing their perception of the wilderness and the intense efforts required to safeguard it. Thank you for following this story. Would you have risked your life to protect the bears from poachers? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.